You start off there. Okay, so today me and Matt are here to talk about our uh, to do what. <coughs> right. Okay, so today me and Matt are here to do our evaluation on our trailer remake. Uh, overall, we were very happy with how the trailer remake turned out, um, being as the one of the biggest filming problems uh, with this is that with Ferris Bueller's Day Off, there's such a um, large cast. Large cast. So obviously <coughs> that meant. Uh, having to rely on multiple people and to be fair some people did let us down but that's fine as we managed to recover and recruit more people uh, but this is definitely something that with our future projects we will be having a cast which is very minimal only with consisting of two or three people the reason for that is so that we know that we can get everyone in one place at once so we're not having to rely on too many people mm -hmm. so we can make sure we get a good finished project yeah. And also, uh, I was quite pleased on the way that we were able to almost mimic the same shots that we used in the trailer. Obviously, some of them were a bit more difficult, as especially some of the car scenes. Obviously, since it's an American-based film, the the steering was on the opposite side. So, by to handle with that, we just flipped the video to make it look like it was on the right side. Um, also, just the general sort of uh, framing, I think, went uh, a lot better, especially for this task, as um, we had something to base it off of and basically almost try and copy. When we did the copying, exactly, was we would have the video and look at the shots that we have and then line up the camera with the shots that we wanted so that it will work how we want it to. Yeah. And then moving on to editing. Uh, that personally went really well as we were able to just take the original video and then just place that in our editing software, uh, cut them, cut the whole video into each scene so, so then uh, from there we were able to see how many scenes we had to do and then from there once we recorded a scene we just swapped the old out for the new one and then just did that all the way through until we had a completed uh, video to be finished. And then. With the editing as well, we certain parts, listening to the mise en scene, so with the locker part, we didn't have any lockers in the school, which made it very hard to get the locker part. So in this part, we green screened it, had the actor in front, and then just keyed out the green at the back, and then got a picture of lockers with it in, so it looked like she was in front of lockers. Yeah. Um, the sound, we had slight issues with the levels of sound, so if it was in a car it might be a bit louder than if it was just walking down the corridor in a school. And this is an issue that we'll try and focus on a bit more next time when we make a project, so that all the sound levels are the same, so it runs a lot smoother. Yeah. Also, just to add to that, with the sound issues, uh, we were finding, because just since we were just using the standard microphone that came on the Canon DSLR, uh, it, it struggles to pick up voices uh, from further distances, so to tackle this, I am, or hopefully we might see if we can use an external mic to obviously boost the volume of the dialogue. Yeah, um, and with the mise en scène, this is a massive challenge, especially in terms of costume, as in America they don't wear school uniform, whereas here we have to wear suits and uniform. So when it came to filming, when we had to do the film, we had to kind of be in the suits because of the times we could film as we tried to get all the cast together at once to be able to do certain shots, like in the corridors where we're walking around, or if we're at the phone, we have to have a large number of people to kind of make up the background people as well, which was a big challenge for us. But then also saying about the negatives of being uh, in school and about having to wear the suits, uh, being in school obviously it's a very big positive as it meant that um, our locations of shooting were right where we were. So then that made for quite easy access and then the only other f uh, few scenes we had to do were just outside so we could do that just outside the school premises. So I thought that that was a really big plus and really helped us. Uh, especially with uh, managing our time and which scenes to do first, because obviously uh, the ones 
that we could do in school, we could leave to a bit later, and so we have all day to do those. But then the other scenes are outside of school, we had to wait till the weekends and just so to make sure that they're all done. Or after school. Or after school, yeah. Yeah.